Okay, Pops, yeah. we have said for a long, long time that right now is a terrible time to buy a car, but you have your ear to the streets, yeah. you're working your people left yeah. and right, day in, yeah. day out. Yeah. Now might be a decent time to buy a used car. I'm afraid it might. Yeah. What's going on? Break, break the news. Dealers are panicking. Oh my God, there's panic in the industry. Okay, so some of the dealers are, are a tad bit concerned about how much they've paid for some of these used cars that they have in their inventory. Uh, so, okay, Mo, okay, all. All yeah, so, these, so talk and, to and us they're a little concerned. Bit. Like, what happened that, at the end of last year, right? They, they well, were buying cars at ridiculous prices. They were buying cars at ridiculous prices. They were selling all the cars they were buying. Okay. And then what happened, and it happens every year in nature, January comes. Okay. That's true. We have not okay. missed a January. The, the, the end of the year happens. All these sales um, go crazy and they're selling a lot. And then January happens. And, and, and it's just like, the world comes to an end. Uh, people stop going out and shopping and buying cars. I don't know, because it's January, and it's winter, and it's cold. And so these dealers seeing a downturn in floor traffic are panicking because, well, that's what dealers do best. So in the same breath, though, we're seeing an increase in what's called floor plan costs, the interest to carry inventory. Yes. And the interest that you're paying on that inventory is based on how much you add to finance to purchase it. Break yeah, the news which here is really all quick. of it. Yeah. yeah, and break the news here really quick. Yeah. Car dealers don't pay cash for cars. They finance it just like you or I would. Oh, absolutely they do. They they get slightly better rates than we yeah. do. But, but, but they finance them. And, you know, many dealers have... 10 million, 12 million, 15 million dollar credit lines to, to buy cars. So what you're hearing from talking to people that you know that are in the business is, okay, we're starting to get some directives from up above. If you want to negotiate a little <sighs> bit, negotiate on used cars because yes, they're seeing how if they had to go take that to the auction right now, they'd be underwater. Yeah, we not would be. Are underwater. Yes, yes. Jacques Cousteau inventory. Used car inventory. Inventory brought to you by Jacques Cousteau. Put some numbers to this. I know you were talking to some of your friends. I mean, we're talking about dealers, dealers just being, taking losses. Yeah, being willing to lose upwards of two thousand dollars on the retail side of of pricing in order to get the customer to say yes and have an opportunity on the finance side to make all that or some of that back. Uh, but they realize that if they can just continue to sit on the inventory and and the the market continues to soften that the values are going to go down and the amount negative that they are is only going to go up. Now, now we've talked about this a bit. We anticipate, and I'll speak, I'll say I anticipate more than you that there's going to be a bit of a price increase again on used yes. cars come springtime. That's that's your anticipation. Whether that's right or wrong, what's yeah. fascinating here is the interest piece. Every single month, every single day that that car is Yeah, sits, it's a daily fee. It's so not even, a monthly fee. So even if you're a dealership and you're yeah. thinking, okay, you know what? I think used car prices are going to come back up. It doesn't make sense for you to hold on to that car at a higher price today for three more months to try and sell it then. You're paying interest on that car. I mean, if you if you bought the car for twenty thousand dollars, and you're paying four hundred dollars a month in interest, and you hold on to it for ninety days, well, suddenly that car was twenty thousand plus twelve hundred, so that's twenty one two plus whatever money you spent to recondition it, which is not happening that much these days, and and for detail and everything else. And then the longer a car sits, well, the more stuff tends to break, and these cars to sit. So your cost in the in the car just keeps going up, so that twenty thousand might be twenty two thousand now. Um, so yeah, you're better off getting rid of it than paying carrying charges. Especially when most of your customers are probably going to be highly profitable in the F and I office. Now, obviously, here with YA, like we try and equip you with tools, right? Like get the extended warranty quote yes. for us first. Go to the community forum to see what a, a realistic interest rate is and all that fun stuff. But from a dealership perspective, yes. like I'm not surprised to hear these mandates saying, "No, go back to negotiating." Because, yeah, if someone, you lose two grand on the front end, or maybe they negotiate down to your cost on the front end, you're going to make that back. P PVR, uh, the, the, the- Per vehicle retail. The amount of money per vehicle retailed right now has never been higher on the F&I side. So they'll go make the 2000 yes. back up and, on the back and, end. And truth be told, the amount money made per vehicle retail on new and used has never been higher. Yeah. So if you, if you, you know, if you have to take a little bit of a loss in order to make sure you're not taking a big loss later. As the dealership, you're speaking as the yes, dealership. Yes, then, yeah. then you're better off as the dealership to unload the car and negotiate. So if you're in the market, let's say first half of this year, right now in February, is yeah. probably a good time to be buying a used car if you absolutely need to. There's still the if, because let's be real, 
Used car prices went up over 35% last year. Okay, yes. So you're still buying a highly appreciated, traditionally depreciating asset. Go watch all of our streams and videos. Go watch our David Chow video about the chip storage. Like That's what precipitated high used car prices. Yes. It's not going away overnight. But if you need to buy a video, if you need to buy a video, if you need to buy a vehicle. If you need to buy a video, go to Blockbuster. I don't think so. If you need to buy a video, <laughs> damn it! If you need to buy a vehicle, <laughs> yeah. If you need to buy a vehicle in yeah. the next six months, yeah. February is a month for you to go in there with some negotiation. Before power. the spring selling season starts, before tax season starts, and people get their refunds. Yep. But right now, there's panic in the dealerships. And as YA members, you get paired up with a coach. You can use the listings. We'll support you through the whole process. So go back to the website, take a peek there. Like. There's an opportunity to not pay what the list price is. Yeah, that we couldn't say that twelve months over the past twelve months. Like this no. is a new phenomena. Go take advantage of it. Let us help you. We we just know that there's there's large players, particularly in the DMV, the Delaware. Uh, but I bet Virginia you it's area. happening everywhere. Pops. And we know that there's dealer groups throughout the country that are sitting on uh, on extremely highly priced inventory. I think that the word's they paid expensive. For that that they need to get rid of so that, you know, even though they might say, hey, we don't really want to, they really will negotiate with you right now, more than likely. Thank you, Pops. Oh, anytime, Hanson.